What is up guys and welcome to part four, five, five. Welcome to part five. So up until this point, we have um, connected up our Unity and Iron Source dashboards. We have uh, tested to make sure that the actual integration works using the demo scene. We have initialized the script. So now we're ready to just initialize the interstitial. If you were in the previous video and you integrated in banner ads, then hopefully by this point you've worked out that that works too. So let's dive straight in rather than talking too much and let's get those interstitial ads in. Interstitial ads, now these are your full size ads uh, that display, let's say after you've died, after a couple of levels. These are the ones which are like normally um, about f um, skippable after about five seconds. And it's more often than not, um, if you have you died after a couple of levels or after so long, then it, they then the um, ad plays. Now we are if we just hide the uh, we leave we leave the banner ones on there. If we just now load the full size and show full size, so we've now got two buttons here. Now naturally you. Naturally, you wouldn't have them running off of buttons. You would have the show run after um, the end of a level or the players died, so on and so forth. Um, and the load one, you would probably have one load as soon as the other ad ends. You probably load in another one just so it's there ready to go. So we're going to show you all of that now. We are loading using buttons just so we've got control. So when it comes to testing and also demonstrating that they work, then it's quite a lot easier to show you. So what we're going to do, we head back on over to our script. And if we scroll on down to where we've got our buttons, we're also going to create another one, which is public uh, void load full add. And then I'm going to create another one here, which is public void show full ad. Ban tabby dozy. So what we're going to do before we move on, we're just going to we're just going to connect these up in the Unity. So much like the banner, if you were there for that video, on the on-click event, we're just going to drag and drop the game object that has our script to the button, our ISS script there, and we're going to do load full size ad, and then for the show full size ad button, again, we're just going to click on uh, show full size ad there, there we go. So now, wh whenever we press those buttons, these two functions will run. So what's next? If we go back to our integration and go on to interstitial, much like the uh, banner ads, there are a bunch of callbacks which we've got to add. So let's add in those callbacks now. So we're just going to do full size. And then also, if you want the add info ones, uh, which I think are the more accurate ones, especially when it comes down to AB testing, uh, then it is a very useful. That is the wrong place to put them. Da, 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 da. So, what we're doing is we are whacking the callbacks at the bottom. For us to have just in case we need it. So for example, if it was to fail, we would want to know. So we, we can get the error and kind of just tell us as to the error so we can you know get on it, fix it, and hopefully keep a revenue intact. Um, or if like someone clicks on it, we can pause the app and so on and so forth. It just gives us more control over being able to 
uh, kind of gather data and just generally understand what is going on with our users. So we have added the uh, yeah, got the add info ones as well. So that is all the callbacks in. So now what we need to do is we need to load the interstitial. And this we're going to have it on the load full size add. So essentially, uh, when we click that, it's going to load an advert. Now what you can do is you can have a uh, add availability. So interstitial add ready event. We can have that as a callback, which I believe there is already down here. Uh, add ready event. So what we could, if we wanted to get a little bit technical here, um, we could have it so. Turn that update. So if we would click on show for size add and copy the game object uh, name. We could really do like a game object dot finds although this isn't the most uh, best way to do it uh, gets components and we're gonna do is a button yeah uh, button and then we're gonna do dots sets enable is it uh, we could always do get component of button dot interactable. Uh, equals true, like so. And then what we could do is just at the start of this, uh, for the sake of being able to demonstrate when it when it's ready, uh, we can go with false. So what this does is when it loads in, it sets this button just here as uh, non-interactable. So if we press it, nothing would happen. Uh, whereas if we uh, load in the ad, then it will uh, make this interactable. So when we press it, it would actually load the advert. So if we go down to our button and where it says load full size ad, we're now going to go into show full size ad and we're going to call this one. So this was going to be, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do an if statement first. We're going to go uh, if uh, iron source dot agent dot is interstitial ready. This returns a boolean. So we can actually uh, do something on the basis it is, and if it isn't, we can always rerun a uh, debug.log and tell and say the add not is not ready. Otherwise, if it is ready, we can just go with iron source dot agent dot uh, play is it? show interstitial there we go so now once the uh, show full ad is clicked we check if it is ready now it should be ready because the buttons not interactable until it is ready but just in case um, otherwise it will come up and say add not ready so that is all ready to go now so if we were to go back into our unity platform click on file build and run for testing click on yes Uh, do you want to reload scenes? Yeah, we'll save it. Why not? Right then. So, let's test it. So, as you see there, the show full size add button is actually, you know, it's it doesn't matter what, what happens when we do it. Nothing comes up in the Android log cap to say the fact we've pressed it or even comes up with the uh, error that ad is not ready. Uh, ad is not ready. Right. 
So just to very quickly test, make sure we haven't broken anything. We know the load banner does work. So we press load banner just there. It loads in a banner. When we press destroy banner, it gets rid of it. So now when we press load full size add, we can now see that the show full size add is, has now become clear, which indicates to me that there is now an advert waiting for me. So if I press show full size add, we now have an advert come up. So fantastic, that is, that works. That shows us that the integration works. That shows us that the, um, the integration is working and fantastic. If this has helped you, as that is the end of part five. Now, if you have got any errors at all, let me know in the comments. Uh, I've also got a Discord with the um, with support, and also check out my other videos uh, within this playlist. As any episodes that start with five dot, for example, five point one, I uh, will be covering. Uh, any fixes if you are, are experiencing any errors at all. Uh, if this has helped you, please consider hitting that subscribe button, maybe even a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell as well. Um, if I see you in the next one, then I look forward to seeing you. Seeing you. And also in uh, episode seven, uh, we are. I'm, I'm showing you how to individually test each ad. Uh, adapter so you can individually test just unity just iron source just add mob if you install that adapter and so on and so forth so if you're not going to stick around for the rewarded ads it was definitely worth checking that one out as well uh, just so you can actually uh, test that your adapters are working so I'll see you in the next one thank you